Hey guys, so before we start this video, I wanted to come on here and just show you a new thing that I got. It's actually not new. It is, oh man, that is dirty, so sorry. Um, it's this mirror I got for $3 at a thrift store. It's a General Electric lighted makeup mirror. So it turns on just like that, and it has different modes on it. So you can see the different modes there are. And it also has a magnifying mirror. So I just thought that was super cool and I wanted to show you guys, so yeah. Hello, hello, welcome back to Makeup with Morgan. So today we are starting off with a fairly normal makeup look and we are in a bit of a new setup with my new mirror, as I said, very excited about that. This makeup look started out pretty normal. I kind of had the idea that I wanted to do a darker glitter on my eyes, maybe mess around with some powder a little bit, just stuff like that. But I didn't really know the direction that I was going. And I think this speaks to the versatility of makeup. Makeup is not a one size fits all. It's easy to play with and some things work and some things don't. And I didn't have anywhere to go. I washed this makeup look off two minutes after I pressed stop recording because I didn't actually want to wear it anywhere and as we get farther into the video you'll probably realize why I didn't want to keep it on but the reason that I did it besides just for a class is because I wanted to have fun and I wanted to express my creativity some of you may know that I'm an artist I have drawn for all of my life and I'd like to think that I'm all right at it so I believe that makeup is an art and you can see through this video, like I said, especially towards the end, what I mean by that. So actually today, what we ended up creating was a leopard cat look. Now, I don't do a lot of makeup art. And think like swirlies on the eyes or, or candy canes during Christmas time. I don't do a lot of that. But I've done face paint and stuff like that. And when I started this class, it was after Halloween. And when I think of cat makeup, I definitely think of Halloween. I've been a cat probably more than five times for Halloween. I really like cats. I was very obsessed with them when I was younger. And I want to tell you a story that I will show you an absolute relic from <laughs> later on in this video, but you have to wait for the end for that. When I was younger, I was very passionate about cats, like I said, and I was in this play. And this play was called At the Bandstand. It was very like an all-American talent show type play. And the part that I tried out for um, was a cat because I really liked cats. And me and my friend, Amber, tried out for this. And Amber, unfortunately, did not get the spot that she wanted, but I did. And the spot was Skippy Paws. So kind of the enemy, the annoying girl, the girl that nobody really liked in the play. I mean, like, that was her part. The girl playing her is very sweet, but... That was her part, right? She had this cat. And I mean, like, this cat obviously could sing. And, it, like, she was just obsessed with this cat. The cat went everywhere. And so I got to follow my, you know, acting partner, <laughs> if you could say that. It was fourth grade. Around. And I would meow a lot. And this... I really got into character. It started some sort of obsession. And I started wearing the cat ears every day. And, and you look at it like a third, fourth grader. And you're like, oh, that's cute. You know, like she's getting into character. She really likes it. But it escalated. I mean, like I wore these everywhere. I wore these to church. I wore these to the grocery store. I wore these around at home. I wore this cat headband every single day. And I was a cat for Halloween because it was easy. You know, like I already had the stuff. I already did it all the time. And I get to fifth grade and I remember telling people I will never take these cat ears off. So we're in like two, three years wearing cat ears every day. I mean, my mom would have to beg me not to wear them for certain occasions. 
it was rough. My mom's a trooper. But then I go into sixth grade and I decide that it's not my thing anymore. And I stop wearing them. But I couldn't find it in myself to part with them. Now, there are actually three different pairs of cat ears. There was the original floppy Skippy Paw ones. Then those broke. So I got a purple kind. And then those broke. And so then I got the sparkly kind that I still have. And I keep it because I feel like it's a pretty significant part of my childhood. And I find it quite amusing. So eventually in sixth grade, I did stop wearing this. Now, like I said, I've worn these for a few times for different occasions at Halloween when I was younger. Although the most recent time that they were actually worn out was when my boyfriend Tatum wore them out. Because one Halloween, we went as Tom and Jerry. He was Tom, I was Jerry. Or, hold on. I don't know if I have their names backwards. I was the mouse, he was the cat. Now, my mouse ears were like paper that I had attached to a headband, but he actually wore the ears that I have stashed away. He was very excited about that, and he thinks it's really cute. Um, I tell people that I was a furry before furries were a thing. And I don't get me wrong, I understand that furries were a thing when I was a child, but they weren't as widespread as they are now. I just think it's funny. So it's a little bit of trivia for me, you know, two truths and a lie. Oh, I wore cat ears for three years. And it's true. I did. And I don't regret it. I think it's cute. Hello, welcome to my room. So we're going to be going into underneath my bed. Here. So this is my uh, winter stuff, Christmas decorations, fall decorations, but in here I have a couple more things like pumpkin spice air freshener, but these are what I wanted to show you. So these are a pair of cat ears that I talked about, pair number three. Um, they are well loved. You can see they're coming apart in some places and and let me show you in the mirror. Let me put you down for a second. So you can probably see that maybe it's better like this. Hold on, I can see myself in the mirror, so tell I can tell if I'm like looking in the right place. So this is the cat ears on. I used to wear these every day. I mean, like I mentioned in the video, so you know, but every day I would wear them. But now they just stay in there and sound and I only really take them out for like if I'm going as a cat again for Halloween or if I need them for some odd purpose like filming a speech video and you know a lot of people think that I got rid of them but I did not they stayed down there and I don't know I'm just glad that I kept them honestly at my open house I might put them <laughs> out just to show them because obviously a lot of people coming to my open house will know of that time in my life so if you are an elementary school teacher watching of mine somehow some way yeah i've i grew out of it so thank you so much for watching guys um i hope this video wasn't too weird because <laughs> i know it was definitely an otter one of mine and i hope you still enjoyed the makeup look that i created and the silly weird story that I had to go along with it. Alright, bye. Love you. Mwah.